Is it more effective if I tell you to do your best in this class? Or would it be better if I say, read all the material each week by Wednesday, review the material on Thursday and Friday, and take the necessary quizzes on Saturday? Research has found that more specific goals are far more effective than more abstract, do your best kind of goals. Understanding the nature of goals and objectives is important because they hold the potential to help facilitate the fulfillment of an organization's mission and vision when they are well crafted. We cover a number of concepts and frameworks relevant to understanding and setting goals and objectives in this class. We begin by discussing the concept of management by objectives developed by Peter Drucker. This concept was actually inspired by the early scientific management approach of Frederick Taylor, and management by objectives involves a process where the worker and their manager work together to set goals valued by their organization. If you've seen the movie Office Space, which I highly recommend, you see the management by objectives process in play when Tchotchke's manager Stan works with Joanna to try and broker a mutual commitment to her wearing a number of whimsical buttons on her uniform known as flair. In the movie, Joanna doesn't really care about how many pieces of flair she should wear and becomes frustrated with the process, eventually quitting her job. So this clip illustrates that while management by objectives can be extremely valuable in some workplace environments, in others, dictating rules and policies to subordinates is probably a better approach. This scene also illustrates another point about goal setting that we highlight in this class. Managers have to be careful to avoid the folly of rewarding A while hoping for B. No doubt the policy at the restaurant and office space was created to help build organizational morale by allowing shared goal setting. But what it ultimately ended up encouraging, at least for Joanna, was frustration in a situation where setting a simple rule would have provided much clearer and simple guidance. Most businesses face a number of different performance measures that must carefully examine to help them understand their company's short and long-term performance. One key tool that helps provide a manageable set of important measures to assess the firm's success is the balance scorecard. The idea of this tool is that it helps managers balance financial targets with other measures relating to customers, their own internal processes, and the organization's ability to learn and grow in order to help maximize long-term success. Understanding goals and objectives has important applications for individuals. For example, performance reviews might affect you in the workplace, so it's important to understand how to set and track your own goals effectively. And it's always a good idea to remember that SMART goals, those goals that are specific, measurable, aggressive, realistic, and time-bound goals, are more effective than do your best goals. I'm confident that you'll be able to apply knowledge of vision, mission, and goals to your own work and life goals.